So I've been using the Max Escort 360 for about five months now, and ever since I've had it, I have not gotten a ticket. The feature that stands out to me about this radar is its GPS auto learning system. So the more you use it, the more it blocks out signals that aren't a threat. Which if you think about it, it's good because if you heard the radar going off all the time, you would just ignore it and it would serve no purpose to you. But if you're traveling in areas that you don't usually drive around, um, that feature is going to be less effective. But um, even so, the radar still does a good job of picking up signals that are a threat. Now, there are three main signals that you need to be concerned about. It's gonna be X-band, K-band, and K-A-band. X-band is mostly a signal that comes from shopping areas that have sliding doors. The sliding doors are tracking your GPS location and it will um, hit your detector as X-band. So, K-band is a little bit interesting because it can be a cop radar, it can also be a shopping area, or it can be um, a frequency that is being picked up by other people using different radar detectors. So I wouldn't totally dismiss K-band. I would just be aware until you find out where the signal is coming from. You know, depending on your area, K-band might be more important and uh, K-band might be less important. K-A-band is for sure a cop radar. Never dismiss K-A-band. A cop could be detecting you or anybody else in the area. So always be cautious when you see K-A-band on your radar detector. Now, the cool thing about the Max Escort 360 is that on the right hand side, it has directional arrows. So whether you're detecting X-band, K-band, or K-A-band, it'll let you know if it's in front of you, behind you, to the left of you, to the right of you. Now, there are other things that this radar can detect. It can detect air drones, lasers, speed traps, speed cameras, and red light cameras. But for the sake of time, if you have questions about these other signals, please just ask them in the comment area below, and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Depending on what signal this radar is detecting, it can give you a detection up to a mile or even a mile and a half out. To me, that's a whole lot of time for you to react and to correct whatever you're doing so that you don't get pulled over and get a ticket. All right, so at this point of the video, I wanna go over the pros and cons that I came up with myself. Uh, just bear with me. I wrote them down on a piece of paper so I don't forget. So if you see me looking down, um, that's why. So the first, pro that I want to talk about is how efficient it is. Um, very few false alarms, if there is any at all. The second pro is the customization. It's very robust. You can display as many signals as you want all at the same time, and you can even color code them as well. The third pro is that there's an app that works similar to Waze to where if you're using the app actively as you're driving, you can um, share information like, you know, a police was spotted here or uh, you know other information like a new red light camera and it will be shared amongst other app users and help your Max Escort 360 work more efficiently for you. The other thing that I like about the Max Escort 360 is that it comes with a suction cup mount and it also comes with a wire that plugs externally into your 12 volt car socket or known as the cigarette lighter. All right, so the cons are, it's a little pricey currently right now on Amazon it's priced at $448.30. Another con is that if you look at it, it's kind of bulky, which that might turn some people off. Also, something that I noticed in my experience when I'm speaking with my girlfriend, uh, it's very annoying when the radar goes off repeatedly when you're on the phone in the car. The last con that I have is that the Escort Live app, the app that works with the uh, Max Escort 360, you actually have to pay a subscription of $50 a year to actually get the information that other app users are using. And I kind of disagree with that because of the price point of the radar detector itself. I think it should just come with and work similar like how Waze is, because Waze is just free. I want to take a second and say that this is a review based off of my experience, I was not given this detector and I wanna give a review that um, is truthful and that will help other people determine what type of detector that they want. All right, so to wrap this video up, I think the Max Escort 360 is a great radar. I would recommend it to anybody that's looking for a solid radar. But with that being said, my name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle. If this is your first time to the channel, Please like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell notification. I'll catch you in the next video.